Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I create a printable flyer using Apple's Keynote program. So Keynote comes with every iPad, it's free, and it's really designed to be a slideshow presentation just like Microsoft PowerPoint, but I use it a lot on my iPad as a page layout tool. So to show you how I do it is I open up the app and if you look in the middle you see I have a document called blank 8.5 by 11 tall and I have one called blank 8.5 by 11 wide and how I created these blank documents is I went to a computer because unfortunately you can't create custom page sizes in Keynote on an iPad so what you need to do is you go to a Mac first open up Keynote open up a blank new document choose your page settings and put in 8.5 by 11 save it save it up to iCloud or to Apple Drive or I mean to uh, Google Drive or whatever so that you can bring it up onto your iPad and then work from it off a copy so what I'll do is I'll click and hold and I'll make a duplicate of that document and now I have a blank canvas to design my my flyer so the first thing you do when you lay out flyers is you need to go and get your assets so you go and save your images to your iPad and get your text so to save time in this video I have let's see I will use um, here in this program I have a flyer already brought up a brochure and I've already for time's sake saved these photographs to my iPad and now I just need to design and lay it out. So what I'm going to do is cl click and drag, copy the text, double tap on my home button on my iPad to switch back to Keynote, tap and hit paste. And there's that line. And as you can see, it gives you some um, layout assistance. You can tell that vertical line tells you that that paragraph is dead center on the page. So I can put that right in there. And let's hit the plus icon in the upper right corner it brings up a menu and from here I can insert an image and bring one in from my camera roll and there's a photo and then let's go get some paragraph text let's double tap on my home button to flip back and let's grab some some body copy oh where to go there you go hey okay click drag Highlight, hit copy, double tap, switch back to Keynote, and hit paste. And there is my body copy. Okay. So what's nice about this program, just like many others, you can highlight it. You can hit the little paint icon to format, and I can change all kinds of things like the font, the size, um, the alignment. Okay. I can move it up and let's format this to match so let's change the font again make it the same and 11 points probably good enough for print and the line spacing let's open up the line spacing that looks nice and that looks better okay so you have that and then let's bring in some more photos so you just tap and let's bring that down around something. Look at, the, again, the alignment tools that help you. Let's make that a little smaller. That looks nice. And let's get another one. And now if I just move that to the left to line up with the first one, I can use click and drag. And notice the assistance. It tells me right there with those lines that that picture is the same exact width as the one above it. So I can move that down. And let's get one more. Oop, I might have to make everything smaller. Let's see. And drag down. And now that's the same width. So I got three. Yeah, we got them. We have to. Um, we got to do something to get more space, right? So let's actually let's actually double tap on this top image, and I can actually you can actually crop and trim images by double tapping on them. Isn't that neat? So that image is a little bit smaller. 
I have a little bit more space. And let's bring that up. Nope. We have to make everything a little bit smaller. Okay. And how do I space this guy out? Whoops. Come on. Just trying to show you that there is some assistance with spacing guides right there. It's hard to see, but it is showing me that there these uh, images are all spaced apart equally right there. I can move that up and I know that that paragraph is aligned to the top of that photo. And let's bring in um, let's bring in a logo. Uh, that one will do I guess. And scale it down and drop it down. Oop. Something like that. It's good enough for now. So there you have it. So there is how I design flyers using Keynote. And this flyer can be exported as a PDF and sent to any laser printer, inkjet printer, in-house printer, and it'll print just beautiful. Um, so the way you do that is you click on the uh, three dots in the upper top and you choose export and you tap on PDF and then you can choose how you want to send it. And just for this example, I'm going to open it up in PDF Expert just to show you what the document will look like. And you can see how nice and crisp and clear the photos are and how crisp the text is. So this will print just beautiful on your in-house uh, printer, probably even a commercial printer. So that's how I design flyers uh, using Keynote. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.